This is Understanding Drone Controls. In this lesson, we'll talk about a basic introduction to throttle, yaw, pitch, and roll. If you don't know those terms, you're in the right place. Control basics. Like we mentioned before, throttle is the vertical movement. Yaw is the direction horizontally. Pitch is moving back and forth. Roll is moving sideways. And we'll cover additional controls. And we'll recap this lesson with a rewind. Throttle. Throttle is more like the altitude control. It's like the gas pedal in your car. It gives power to your drone's motor to receive the commands on what direction to go. For example, if you see the diagram on the left of your controller it is the up and down for the throttle. It increases the power to the drone or it decreases the power to the drone. That way you go up and down. Yaw. Yaw is like the rotation of the drone. It moves the drone around its vertical axis. When you rotate the yaw on the left stick, it pivots the drone to the left. If you rotate it to the right, it pivots the drone to the right. So the left thumbstick can move the drone up and down, left and right. And you see the diagram, it shows you yaw left and yaw right. Pitch. Pitch is moving the drone forward and backwards. As in a car, you would go forward or reverse, drive or reverse, kind of the same similar thing, but it's on the right stick of your controller. For example, if you pitch the sticks forward, it'll make the drone tilt forward. And if you move it in the opposite direction, you'll be pulling the drone backwards. Roll. Roll is moving the drone from side to side. Roll, you can be able to do that. If you push the right stick to the left, the drone will tilt to the left and it moves in that direction. Pushing it to the right causes the drone to tilt to the right and it moves in that direction. You can see the diagram for a kind of an illustration of those movements. Additional controls. Depending on what type of drone controller you have or the type of setup you have, it can be different variations, but I just want to give you a, a brief overview. Uh, there's another button that you can control the camera tilt, the zoom in or zoom out, and the zoom buttons could be located on different points of your controller. Also, there's an RTH or return to home. If you have a GPS navigated uh, drone, you can be able to push one button and the drone where you take off will return to the home point. Obstacle avoidance, depending on what type of drone you have as well, this could be another sensor that you have to be able to detect and navigate around obstacles in your flight path. Sensors are mounted to detect uh, kind of the front and back and lower of the drone. That way it doesn't bump into it, uh, anything that's flying. So it will give you an alert on your remote control to be able to say, hey, there's something in the area, be aware. So in summary, understanding how to control your drone is a skill and it requires being safe and efficient. With practice and familiarity, Pilots can, you can get confidence and maneuver your drone to capture the footage uh, you would like for each task. In basics, the controller on the left, the left stick controls the throttle on the yaw. The right stick controls the pitch and the roll. Just to recap, throttle means the altitude control. Yaw means the rotation control. Pitch means the forward backward motion of the uh, controller. And the roll means the sideways movement. So once you learn these basic steps, you'll be able to combine different maneuvers of throttle and yaw, pitch and roll to be able to get different shots that you would like. But today we're just giving you the basics. As you can see, just lear learning this will be a good starting foundation so you can build your skills and it takes practice. But in this lesson, I just wanted to give you the nuts and bolts of what holds being a drone pilot together, some different things that you can take away to practice on 
in your own time. Other than that, I hope you've learned a lot during these five different lessons that we've talked about of how to become a drone pilot. If this is your first lesson, make sure you go back to the first lesson of lesson one. This is lesson five, but I gave you five short, brief classes that will be able to get you out of the starting blocks and on your way to becoming a drone pilot. If you'd like to know more or you're interested in knowing a little bit deeper information, please check out my website at fromabovedroneworks.com. There you'll find a lot of different other topics. And I hope to see you in the next class. Feel free to leave any comments that I can get back to you to make this a little better. Got to start somewhere. So we're all starting together. But good luck to you out there. I wish you the best of luck. Be safe.